They need not share my political view on any of the issues. But I hope I can convince someone to share my view that they have an obligation. They have an opportunity and they have the capacity. For six years, this agency has fought to keep people from getting cheated. For six years, this agency has fought to give consumers a chance. For six years, this agency has fought for working people. And now it is time for us to fight for the agency. It was the cell phones, the ability of the inmates to contact the facilitators outside, to stay in contact with correctional officers who were participating in the conspiracy. Those cell phones uh, fueled the operations of this criminal enterprise. We need to preserve the Chesapeake Bay. We need to preserve the $79 billion. We do. It's, it's, come on. It's, there's nobody disagrees with that. On Thursday morning, the Western Journal spoke with folks outside the Supreme Court building. One woman explained that she disagreed with the idea that a business selling goods to the public should be able to discriminate against who they wish to sell to. Anyone should be able to buy public goods that are for sale, whether it's cake, whether it's a car, whether it's anything. A business person should not be able to decide who and who they can sell things to. Another woman seemed to agree and claimed that allowing a business not to sell a product on the grounds of religious belief violates the separation of church and state. And I just really believe that um, we should, we should uphold the constitutional separation between church and state and that um, you're entitled to your own private beliefs, but that you can't discriminate against people in terms of uh, your business. But still others disagreed. One man said that the constitutional right to freedom of religion protects the right of citizens to express their faith as they see fit. We know the Constitution gives us now the right to, to, to believe as we choose that in the free expression of religion, and I think that's what's at stake, but we can express our faith. See, our, our faith is something that's personal, but it's never meant to be private. It's something that we should be able to live out each day, and that's what's at stake, whether we can live out what we believe. Before getting on a jet ski, Arben says you're supposed supposed to have a Maryland safe boating certificate, but not many abide by those rules. When operating a jet ski, officials say it's always important to remember the 360 rule. Always be at least 100 feet away from any other person or jet ski in the water and always be at least 300 feet away from shore. Until I researched it, I didn't know that there really was a Chincoteague and there really was a pony pinning. I thought it was all part of the, the story, the book. And then we delved a little bit further and researched it and found out this really is a place. Cirque Italia is in Salisbury for the first time, and Alex Saro, a fourth-generation circus performer, says the acts come from all over the world. And we juggle fire, we juggle clap the pins back to back. Urging pedestrians to walk in the crosswalk with the walk signal on. In fact, just this weekend, a pedestrian was killed right here near 45th Street, walking outside of the crosswalk where there are clearly signs saying no pedestrian crossing. According to stats from the Ocean City Police Department, 22 pedestrian collisions were reported in 2016. 14 of those were the pedestrians' fault. Ocean City spokesperson Jessica Waters says people caught jaywalking this summer could find themselves face-to-face -face with police. Here on this field is where they come together. Go. Pull, 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 pull. The boys of Doverdale, the men and women in blue, united by one sport. The kids really enjoy seeing you. It's really, it's a good thing to, to be part of the community. And that way, if you come here for a, a problem sometimes, like, hey man, you're the guy that was out here, you know, playing lacrosse with us. So we had that comfort level built up or rapport that, you know, they're at ease talking to us. It was a natural fit. We saw a need here. We saw a lot of kids in the neighborhood that were looking for something to do, looking for interaction. Our officers were looking for ways to connect. And uh, this now builds right into by Comico High School and their lacrosse program. This is our first year doing Doverdale lacrosse and it's awesome. There's a lot of kids playing lacrosse and it's awesome, yeah. This is lacrosse, a game that needs no introduction on Delmarva. But on this night and on every Tuesday and Thursday night, these practices, these gatherings, are more than just a test of physical strength or athleticism. They are a test of the heart. It's awesome playing with these kids. It definitely is. Um, 
I grew up in this community, so just down the street, so it means a lot. Outfitted in gear that was provided by the state attorney's office and city council, these young men are learning about more than just a game. They are learning about gratitude, friendship, and their community. It's a perfect bridge into leadership development, sportsmanship, uh, communication, um, conflict resolution, de-escalation. It's all right here for us. They give me an opportunity to do sports again because I've done football before, but I wasn't really good at it, so I'm trying to find something I'm good at right now. There are no winners or losers here, no trophies or stats. This is the game, pure, and this is the community, together. This allows us to interact with the very people that we serve on a daily basis um, in a different way, in a non-confrontational way, and uh, we're getting as much out of this as they are. Once you start, you can't stop. And he hasn't. George Jackson has been sending endless miles of paper scrolls to troops overseas for 23 years. He sends signatures and well wishes to every branch of the military and says it all started in his house. After watching a TV segment on troops leaving to serve their country, he felt inspired to send well wishes overseas. So Jackson took a roll of paper to a Christmas party and the rest is history. More and more people were interested in signing the scrolls, including SEAL Team 1, who drove up from Virginia. Man, that tears just run down my face. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Still gets me, I mean, you know, these boys fighting for our country who drove a hundred and some miles to write on a piece of paper. So, Michelle, I can't quit. Providing a home for everyone. That is what Habitat for Humanity strives to do. And now, for the first time, a family in Millsboro will have a place to live, all thanks to Grace United Methodist Church. Grace is really the dream community partner for us because they bring funding for the project, and it's actually the members of the congregation that will build the home. Along with the new homeowner as well. To earn your down payment for your home, you must participate in helping build. Barbara Ward works with Sussex County's Habitat for Humanity branch, and she couldn't be more thrilled. Uh, hard to properly express um, how important these kinds of community partnerships are to our ministry. Um, they really help us to um, expand our impact. Ward says the church has been planning for months to help build this home, but she says many more homes can be built elsewhere as long as you have the sponsorship. It makes building in any community a very real possibility for us. Um, sponsored builds don't just occur with churches, you know, other organizations, businesses. We can really support a sponsored build in any community. The beauty of a sponsored build is that it enables our affiliate to expand our capacity uh, to serve more families in the, in the county. For the past eight years, Mount Air Farms has been doing just that. It's called Thanksgiving at Easter. 26 different churches, students from Selbyville Middle School, and the American Legion Post 28 all got together on Tuesday to help pack 1,200 boxes, enough to feed about 4,800 people. And all of the food is purchased by Mount Air Farms and donated. It's all fun and games at the Delaware State Fair, but our eyes are on the prize, the food. 47 ABC searched the fair, and we were able to scope out some unique options. First up, Chester's Gators and Taters, with their infamous Gator Mac and Cheese, better known as the Mac Attack. It's homemade macaroni and cheese from scratch. They make it right here, and you've got the Gator on top. Biggest, biggest seller. And it's not just mac and cheese. We put our own little spices and stuff in it, and it's not overly spicy, so even the little kids can eat it. But the Mac isn't the only thing catching everyone's attention. Their kebabs are quite the people pleaser, from the alligator bites to their mako shark. And we take that fresh as they kebab it, stick it on the grill, and that does it, you know, it's quicker to cook. So you wanna put the sauce on it also, uh, and just keep turning it, and that's it. It's, it's wonderful, I'm telling you, everybody go crazy over it. And let's face it, What's the fair without some fried food? What stood out? The fried jalapenos. But if those aren't making you salivate, we have a sandwich that conquers both sweet and savory taste buds. The donut burger from Little Richard's Enterprise. A concept taken from the Food Network, 
but they were able to add their own spice to the mix. We added the bacon and we also used two donuts. Uh, we use uh, the Krispy Kreme donuts exclusively. Uh, we'll take the donuts, put them on the grill, caramelize the sugar a little bit on both sides and then to warm it up. And with an explosion of different flavors, you get the sweet, you get the salt, and you even get the smoke from the bacon. I would say that 99.9% of the people uh, say it's the best thing they've ever eaten and uh, uh, they come back for more.